I'm working on the barn today, doing some preparation to put new siding on this east side of the barn. We're removing windows and we're finishing the framing for the new window openings. Before we get into the actual work today, let's take a look at how substantial or insubstantial the windows that are in here are. So this is the outside of one of these windows. It is just a sash that is sitting on kind of a makeshift sill. There is not really much holding this in here. I don't know how well you can see this, but up top is just kind of resting right against the siding. There's no trim on this at all. And if we go to the inside, you'll see that again, it's just a sash sitting in the opening. So here you can see it on the inside and this whole thing actually does wiggle right around. And again, here is that sill. So this is just sitting here and the angle of the sill and the, a couple nails up top are really all that's keeping this in place. So they come out pretty easy and, and this is also odd. The top frame member there actually just ends and the only thing holding that is the siding itself. So these are not substantial at all. You can see I have framed in a new window opening there already and the two bys are going from the beam right down to the girt and then the header is screwed through from the two by there. I pulled this window out yesterday. That was the sill. That is a piece of treated lumber. So that was replaced at some point. But again, there's that sash. And most of this one, the muntins are, are totally rotted out. There's only a few panes of glass that are even left in this. And this was pretty broken up. I had put a plastic sheet over that window and even that had blown out. And so that's why I started with the removal of that one. But at this point, it could still snow, we could see some winter weather, but I'm just gonna go ahead and get these out of here so that I can get this all prepped for siding. So we will have open windows for now, but we look at the siding, it's relatively open anyway. I'm gonna start here. I've already cut the framing members for this window. I had constructed this one previously before I took out the window that was here. So that one's in. I'm gonna start by just assembling this, getting this screwed into place, and then I'll move down this eaves wall, removing the other windows and framing in the new.
The way the lighting is with the sun outside and then reflecting off the snow it's very bright in contrast with the darkness in here it's a little hard to see but this is a six by six snub of a block and that right there is actually the track for that sliding door this was held up basically by the two by piece that was running the top of this window and otherwise, it's just kind of barely spiked up top here, but it is carrying. This is notched in, and then this is the door track right up in here. So this is tricky, and I actually need to now support this from here down to this girt. So I'm going to get a piece of 6 by 6 and cut it so that it's to length. Rather than rip this, this chunk out and then have to notch the mortise, I think I'm just gonna leave this here, cut the new piece, and then I'll toe screw it with uh, the GRK structural screws, the five and a quarter or five and an eighth inch long. And that should be sufficient because the load is just vertical anyway. It's only really loaded when this door's open. So let's get on that. So now that this 6x6 support is in here, the width of this opening is just a little bit wide for the window. So all I'm going to do is cut a 2x4 to fit against that post. And then I'll cut the window header and we'll call it good. It'll be a little bit wide, like a half an inch wide for the rough opening, but that'll be fine. Openings are all framed in. We got one here, swinging this way. We got one right there, one down there against that post, and then two more inside of that chicken coop space. 
that'll wrap up today's work on the barn.